Y'all already know what's good. We back at it again with another interview. We were interviewing a couple more artists today, and they're going to be performing November 30th. Make sure you tap in. We're going to get up in here. What's up, big dog? What's your name, so, dog? My name is Blake Monty, but okay. for the people looking up my artist's name, it's going to be St. Monty. St. Monty. But you know me. What's up, man? I already know you, How's dog. Going? I just had to tell the people about you. You feel me? I appreciate I had to let you. you introduce yourself. Yeah, thank you. That's right. St. Monty in the building. And you, how excited are you to be performing at this venue on so, the 30th? Dog, I, this is the first venue that I'm uh, putting together. Like okay. I'm putting my name behind. So this is, a, this is a very interesting opportunity, you know, you. to showcase my abilities, exactly. showcase some of the other homies, a lot of networking and uh, other accomplishments are going to be right. made that night. Yeah, throwing a venue, getting people up in here. I mean, you, you're going to be doing it, you know, like that's dope, that's dope. Oh, and you're going to you. be performing. Yes, sir. You're working, you're working. I see that, I see that. So, how long you been uh, doing music? How long you, oh, that's you know, a great when, when, did you, when did you first start doing it? Dude, I first started doing music in 2016. Oh, I, shit, okay. I would play a music off of a speaker, bro, get the voice memos, and literally just rap okay. right next to the speaker, bro, that's and just right. try to get shit. some, yeah, try that's to get, right. make it sync. Those tracks were awful. Those demos, yeah. are, they are not out, I'll be honest, yeah. but hey, gotta you got to start somewhere, you know? Dog. Yeah. I feel that, you I know. feel that, though. That's dope, that's dope. So, shit, I mean, the technology has definitely got better through time, too. I so agree. You definitely got better things to work with than, I mean, Tupac and Eazy e and Swear. all them be working with, but you still grind you still started off. I like how that, I like it. So, where were you recording that? In the room or? Yeah, studio bro. time or so most of my time i've spent uh it's like self self institute like i would teach yeah. myself like how to bit. mix master record okay. and you make I, beats too i i do make beats as well so Damn. i i spent my time since 2016 learning and doing it. any each of the crafts until i decided which one i wanted to pursue yeah. on and go okay. forward shit so i mean since you're an artist well, what's probably the favorite it was probably your favorite type of being the favorite part of being the artist. You like more making beats. You like more performing, rapping. So, yeah, writing. bro. Like uh, I come from acting. I'm, oh, okay. So uh, acting right. is what inspired me to make music. Is it's like uh, it's your own form, your own form of performance, yes, and so. I like that about it. So that's right. when it comes to performing, that's my favorite part about music. Like. Just getting up there that's doing the thing, you know what I mean? That's what people are there for, at least. That's right, that's right, shit. And then you get to showcase your talent, you know? Yes, sir. You can't get up there and just be rapping about... Everyday Joe, you, you know, know what I mean? Like, yeah. Exactly, I, you gotta see what's up. That's dope. So, where, where were you originally born at and raised? I was born in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Okay, okay. And uh, the past eight years, I've been living out in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Nice. I just moved out here to Albuquerque. That's right. About that's two right. months ago. So you gotta come out to Burke, gang. Shit. How do you like it out here? You already. Oh, dude, I love it out here. Honestly, very pretty. You know, despite what they say, I, I've been outside the crime of rate. Of course. So yeah. you yeah. know, trying to keep it lively. See, yeah, that's right. That's right. So I mean, you seen how it was out here? Is it a little different from your hometown, or? I'm telling what you. What is man. it like out there? Everywhere is getting around the same. Like it used to be, like I want to say in the early 2000s, it seems like people, the, the vibe just changed. Yeah. After COVID, you know, like everywhere is starting to be the same. But the humidity is only the difference, bro. Real talk. Like, in is there a lot Louisiana. of shit to do out there or not even? Nah, bro, I'm going to be honest. Like unless you're, unless you're like doing cultural things, there's not a lot of uh, like big go out, you know, go out. See. On dates or anything like that, you know, Damn. it's more more small town. Okay, see, so, yeah, I ain't never been there. I might have to go check it out one day. You know, and see what's up. But I love my city. I love my town. I love, I love your town you know. too. You no, know, what's up? That's dope. Thanks That's for welcoming dope. in it. Hey, man, you know, show love, get love for me. But uh, on another case, I wanted to ask you two shit. Who you be? Who you be really inspired by? Like, what? What is your like passion for this music stuff have you like been loving it or are you starting to love it or what's, what's your it name? comes in waves brother for okay. sure like um the first track i ever made was off of uh acting project i got done and i was like 
so inspired. I played a beat and I started freestyling to it. And I was like, dude, like I feel this beat. Like I feel this type of way about this music. So then I started writing to it and I was writing about my life moments, my life experiences. And that made more passion to it. It was like, I, I got to showcase not only past moments, but memories that I've had. And there it is all on a track. That's it's, right. It's beautiful. That's right. I mean, you tell your story, gang, in the booth. That's I've right. I've heard a lot of people say that, you know, that's sick. I like that. I like that a lot. And shit, who are your top favorite artists right now? Top favorite who artists, bro? To? Ah, who are you listening to? Man. Kendrick Lamar is up there, bro. Okay, I'm not Kendrick. gonna lie. We'll Kendrick. do three. We'll do top three. Top three? Yeah. All right. Kendrick Lamar for my second. I'm gonna give it to. You. I don't know, bro. Probably Bryson Tiller. Okay. Bryson okay. Tiller's pretty tough. Okay. Shout out Bryson Tiller. Okay. And you can you can pick and, uh, OGs, you can do anybody. Okay, word. For OG, bro, Nas. Okay. Nas is tough. Okay. And his beat selection is insane. Right. He's always got like crazy flows. Okay. Like it doesn't matter what the beat is, he'll rap on anything, bro. That's, I like that's that. That's how a real rapper has to exactly, do it. Exactly, bro. And he he's real for that, that, so that's dope. Respect. That's dope. Right, so shit. Um what's what's top three songs? Doesn't have to be from them artists that you just named. Just probably top three songs that you'd be bumping right now. Top three songs I'm bumping. Let's see. Uh God dude. That's tough. I don't even. He's all shit. There's I'm thinking. So much. Yeah, bro. I listen to so I much feel music. That, though. I feel that. I'm gonna just give a. I'm gonna just give Future a little shout out. Future? You know, anything okay. Future right now in Metro okay. Boomin. That that That's album true. was pretty hard. I've been I've been slapping that shit. I feel that. I feel that shit. You know, that's dope. I mean, I would I would probably say, Mozzie. He's up there. That's yeah. the top for me. And then we got. Nip in the building, yep. you feel me? Young Nip is legend. Respectable. And then let's, it's just, three is just too hard, you feel me? Like, I, I was, I'm Breaking feeling him down. right now, yeah. you know? It's just hard, but I gotta say, probably Pac, for sure. Pac, bro, Pac yeah. Pac Nip and, what is the first? I'll be forgetting my own shit, damn. I'll be late, but, nah, we got, we, we got some OGs in that bitch. We need to see. Who would you rather, or who would you want to do a song with? Like, if you had a fucking had a anybody to do a feature with, if okay. you had the bread in hand, and you were like, hey, I want to do a song with you, and they gave you an opportunity, who would you hit up? Man, that's a tough question. You make me really want to think about that. Oh. Uh, Shit. I don't know, bro. Like, I have so, to think about it. It's a good one, a lot of, It's a good one. A lot of new artists, I don't... Like, it'd be cool if they worked with me, but at the same time, like, I would want them to reach out type. Yeah, you know, I like, that. I feel or that. in the you same way. To be. Yeah. Okay. See, but, she, but for anybody, anyone, anybody in the world, Dead or man, alive. Let me get the Prince feature, bro. Okay, okay. Let me get the Prince feature. That's right. That'd that's be tough. Right. I said the Prince feature. You know what's good. Okay, shit. So, what, what type... What type of music do you have on platforms? Let them know where they can find you at and sh let them know what type of song you got going you on right now. You can check me out at SoundCloud, Apple Music, iTunes, whatever, all platforms, TikTok. Ask your friend, ask your neighbor, ask your dog, uh, St. Monty. St. Monty. Do you have any uh, upcoming projects, so, upcoming albums, Other than the songs? show, November 30th, I'm yeah. working on a little project. No set date yet, okay. but you'll see sneak peeks. Is there beats. any new songs coming on November 30th? There is some new songs. Some new unreleased songs, will gang? be played November unreleased. 30th. November Un 30th. All unreleased. Make sure y'all get your tickets and let us know, you feel me? We love having you on here, gang. I hope you kill it on the 30th. Yes, sir. Glad I appreciate you, you for having me. You feel me? That's right. Stay in it. She knows the money guy.